I suppose I started playing myself when I was like four or five. There's a photo of me at home. I think I was in a buggy with a ball. I played Kerry football for years and I do train the under 14s with the Stoles, under 14s with New York St. Sinans, the girls. I'm currently with Kerry under 16s and also I'm still playing. <laughs> Basically my whole life revolves around fitness. So it's, it's something that I've always, always wanted to do and that I, I think I found definitely my niche. In 2016, we were junior B and every year since we've actually come up a rank or whatever you want to call it. So this is our second year now of senior and we actually got to the final. So we just narrowly missed out on the final. Being still playing club in October, it's, it's brilliant because that means you're coming to the latter stages. It's harder right in October. It definitely gets colder. At the end of the year, you know the bodies are a bit tired and injured and the rain doesn't help. <laughs> That's all part of it. Then you feel great after going training. It's the first senior championship that our club has ever gotten to. So it was almost historical. Our under 12s played at the half time, so they played the other teams under 12 as well. There's just a great buzz, you know, you have that kind of community spirit. It went to extra time and then it went to free shots and even after the five free shots, it went to a shootout. So it was on the seven shot then in the shootout that uh, we were beaten by one point. You'd be devastated after such kind of a big loss, but they rally around you, you know, again, I, I know I go back to the community spirit. There was flags going up, there was Phoenix St. Sinans was plastered everywhere. We, like, we want to work, we want to train, we want to win. We know what has to be done in training, but then we also have our night outs and our this and that, so there's a nice mix. I think that's the, the secret. We'll be back definitely next year again. What I love about training the, the underage structure is that you see the reward, you see them doing things that they go, oh geez, I wasn't able to do that at the start of the year. The smiles and the laughter and you know, when they are younger, it's trying to keep them into it and keep them motivated. It's just great to see the younger girls that would aspire to playing at county level, or even if they don't, it's just to bring on their own player development profiles. I firmly believe that my discipline with time and my discipline with listening to people has definitely filtered through from football. There's so much to it that you wouldn't realise that you learn for life, even in your work, that is in football too. So it definitely teaches you a lot. And I know what it's like at that age to be coming up and kind of you're doubting yourself and oh, should I do this or should I do that? And it's lovely then being the trainer and having the background in fitness and having played, it's so nice to be able to pass on just the knowledge that I would have. There's always the need for more volunteers, like right down to washing the jerseys. You know, there's, there's a lot that people actually don't see. A lot of people come to the games within the amount that has gone into it before that is, is massive. There's so much that goes into getting a team to, to that stage. In this community anyway, there, there seems to be a good strong kind of community behind that as well. There's such a variety of what you can do. It's just getting into it is probably the hardest step. And there's so many jobs to be done. So there, you'll never be, be short of, of a job to do if you want to become a volunteer.